Welcome to your free video lesson from Teach You Comp Incorporated. Be sure to check out your exclusive discount offer at the end of your free lesson. All documents based on the normal template contain space for header and footer information. In order to view and edit the content of the headers and the footers while working in the document, however, you will need to be using the print layout view of the document. To view and edit header and footer information in your document, you can select either the header or the footer buttons as needed from within the header and footer group on the insert tab in the ribbon. In the drop down menu for each button, you can then choose either the edit header or edit footer command to place the insertion marker into either the header or the footer sections. Now alternately, you can simply double click into either the header or footer area in the document in order to place the insertion marker into the header or footer. Now once you've entered either the header or the footer sections, you will see a new tab in the ribbon that you can use to assist you in editing information in the headers and footers. Also note that when you have entered into the header or footer, you cannot edit the content of the body of the document until you switch back into the normal editing mode. You can do this by either clicking the close header and footer button in the close group on the design tab of the header and footer tools contextual tab in the ribbon, or by simply double clicking back into the body of your document. When editing the headers and the footers, you can move between the headers and the footers using the buttons provided in the navigation group of the header and footer tab So if you were in the header, you could click go to footer or vice versa. Note that you can also press the up and down arrows on your keyboard to move between the headers and footers as well. Now within the header and footer sections, you can type or insert whatever information you want to appear. Common content includes information such as your company name, page numbering fields, or business logos. For much of the commonly inserted content, you can use the buttons available in the insert group on the header and footer tools context tab within the ribbon. So for example, you can click the date and time button to open the date and time dialog box where you select the format for the date and time stamp that you want to have appear. If you want the date and time to automatically update when the document is opened, then check the update automatically checkbox within this dialog box before clicking the OK button. Note that when you insert the date and time in this manner, Word inserts a data field into the actual header or footer section instead of inserting a simple, static, or unchanging text. The advantage to using a data field in a document is that it is dynamic, which means that it will automatically update itself when the data field in a document is opened. Much of the content that you want to have appear in a header or footer is best inserted using data fields. Word contains many standard fields of information that you can insert into the document, such as the page numbering, the total number of pages, the date the document was last modified, the author, and a few others. You just simply place your insertion point where you want that content to appear, and then click to add that sort of information. And note you can hit undo to undo an insertion if you don't want it. Now to view a listing of the various data fields that you can insert into a document, you can click the Quick Parts button in the Insert group in the Header and Footer Tools contextual tab. From the drop-down menu, select the Field command to view the listing of data fields available in the Field dialog box. To view all the available fields, ensure that the All choice is selected from the Categories drop-down. Below that then, you will see a listing of all the available data fields shown in the field names scroll box. Select the name of the field that you'd like to insert from the list and set any additional options for the selected field to the right. 
Then click the OK button to insert the field. Now back in the Insert group of the Header and Footer Tools Contextual tab, you could also click the Picture button to insert a picture from your computer's file system. Now if you wish to insert clip art from your office collection or from the internet, then when you're in the header and footer contextual tab on the design tab, you could click the clip art button instead. That's going to open the clip art panel where you can browse for clip art to insert. And you can close the clip art panel by just clicking the X in the upper right corner. Now, some documents will need more than a single header or footer. For example, you may want the first page of a document to not show any header or footer information, but then to show header and footer information beginning on page 2 of the document. You can use the Options group in the Header and Footer Tools Contextual tab to create a different set of headers and footers for the odd and even pages in your document, or for the first page of your document. To do this, just check the desired checkboxes in this group. You can have both, too. Note that the Show Document Text checkbox simply toggles the display of the text within the body of the document on or off. It doesn't actually impact the headers or footers in any ways. Now, once you've selected the type of headers and footers that you want to have appear within your document using these checkboxes, you will then need to enter specific header and footer information that you want to have appear within each of the headers and footers that you chose to include. So if you wanted a different first page, you would have a different first page header, and then starting on page two, you would have another header, and that would be used for any other pages that were not the first page. For different odd and even pages, you would have one header footer set for odd pages, and one header footer set for even pages. And once you're done manipulating your headers and footers and inserting the information that you want, you can click the Close Header and Footer button to close out the header and footer and return back to your document where you can continue editing it as needed. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed your free video lesson from Teach You Comp Incorporated. Like what you see? Pick up your copy of our complete tutorial today and be sure to visit us at www.teachucomp.com slash YouTube for your special bonus offer. Our complete tutorial featuring introductory through advanced material is available on CD-ROM or digital download. You will receive our high quality video lessons plus printable instruction manuals in one easy to use training package. With over two dozen titles to choose from, you'll be sure to find the training you need in Microsoft Office, QuickBooks, Photoshop, and much more. Visit us today!